Our local teams, Maryland has lost two or three. Georgetown has lost three or four. Virginia has lost its best player, Justin Anderson, for four to six weeks because of an injury. Scott, I'll go back to you again. Which one of these teams do you think is in the most trouble in the immediate future? For me, it's, it's Maryland. Yeah. Um, and it's, I don't think, obviously Virginia's gonna make the tournament as yeah. a, as a yeah. one seed. All three of these teams are gonna make the mm -hmm. tournament. But the thing about Maryland, they don't have any really bad losses in terms of the opponents, but their last three road games, they've just been oh. obliterated mm -hmm. um, against some pretty good teams, Indiana, yeah. Ohio State, and Iowa, but yeah. just the way that they've lost, looking lost offensively. And it's a, it's a bad sign to me that a team that relies so much on freshmen, uh, namely Mello Trimble, seems to be regressing. I mean, even their, their last two wins at home against bottom feeders and Western barely Penn State, State were yeah. barely beating those yeah. teams. Um, so, I mean, that's just kind of weird. They have big wins early in the season against Oklahoma State and, and Iowa, St mm -hmm. Iowa State. Those yep. look great. But they've got to get things together on the road. They get Indiana at home this week and then at Penn State, I think. Yeah. Well, they're, they're circling February 24th, Wisconsin, which they get right. at home. But, I mean, I think we have, there's a long way to go before then. There's a lot of teams bunched up at 7-4, including Indiana. And that's going to be a huge yeah. game tomorrow. But for me, I'm worried about the regression, yeah. apparently, from, from the freshman yeah. in particular. Well, Chelsea, which one of those three teams do you think is, has the most to worry about in the immediate future? I mean, I completely agree. I think Maryland is a little bit scary right now. I mean, I, if only because they are a very young team and they didn't really have to learn how to get it together because they started out with it together, you know? Yeah. So there was never anything where they had to kind of reel it back in and I think the other really disturbing thing about the way they've played especially in those three road games is just the defense I mean teams are just putting up tons of points and mm -hmm. Iowa shot the lights out I mean that happens yeah, but yeah. it's Iowa maybe there were some things <laughs> you could have done to change that so I think that's the scary thing and Mello is carrying a lot of the load he is just a freshman has shown himself to be capable of doing it but clearly you know they need some people around him to start doing things differently particularly in the post I mean they don't they haven't really put much up in the paint lately at all so there's just kind of a lot of holes and question marks there, and they've gotten worse and never had to get better. they got to hope that Des Wells is on his way to full health and will be fully healthy so Mello can have someone else to kind of lean on if he needs it. But are you going to make a unanimous, Neil, that Maryland's a team that's most in trouble here? No, I think it's Georgetown. I mean, they have the, the loss to Providence, Villanova. But yep. even more importantly, we know that it's much easier to stay on a AP poll or even in the RPI than it is to fall off. And right now they're out. So they're going to have to really start to impress people going forward, whereas Maryland just really has to hang on at this point. So I think Georgetown is probably in a little bit worse position in that they're, they're on the outside looking in in terms of the AP poll and just have to really show themselves as being worthy to, to get back onto that national spotlight. Yeah, and so the I other problem with Georgetown, them. who plays tonight, by the way, in, in Newark, then they have a week off, is that besides for Butler, they don't play any other teams that are high RPI teams the rest of the way, so they're not going to have a lot of room to move back up right. if, if, should they lose, right? But let me ask you about the Justin Anderson injury. Is that how much of a factor you think that might be, Scott, in terms of Virginia's future, immediate future? Yeah, I mean, and, they're losing one of the best players in the nation yeah. this year. Um, he's been great for them on, on both sides. Obviously, they're, they're a defensive team, and Tony Bennett, I think, has shown an, an ability to adjust kind of two losing guys last year, the senior leader and, and Joe Harris. Um, I think the timing is not great, but he could come back, given that Virginia's set for it looks like a number one seed, right. he could be back for the tournament. Then it's just about how quickly he can get back in, in game shape. 